weight related problems hey kids in this video we will learn about measuring items with weighing scale and adding different weighing stones to measure the weight today gopal and his daughter neetu are going to sell junk at birju uncle's shop on seeing gopal and neetu birju uncle gets happy oh nice gopal bhaiya today you have brought our daughter with you yes uncle nowadays she is helping me a lot with my work wow this is a good thing well say what have you brought today uncle here is some newspapers some old books and some cans of bottles give it to me let me weigh them Hey why is Neetu looking here and there She is looking a bit shocked too What happened Neetu What are you looking for How will Birju uncle weigh all this He doesn't even have a weighing machine Oh child you are so intelligent Yes I don't have any machine but i will weigh without it how come uncle look this is known as weighing scale yes kid we can also measure with the help of weighing scale uncle please show me how to do this but uncle i have some other works in the market too never mind bhaiya you finish your work Let her stay with me. I will teach her how to use it. Uncle, uncle, how can we measure with this? It has no needle to point at numbers. Yes, not a pointer like that, but we do have a small needle along with these two plates. Look here. Right now, both of these plates are empty. and the needle is facing towards the center which means the needle is balanced because both the plates are of equal weight we use weighing stones to measure weight in a weighing scale weighing stones what are these look these are weighing stones oh my god how many are this And look this one is so big. Yes, this is the biggest weighing stone I have. Look how much is written on it. 100 kg. Yes, it means this weighing stone weighs 100 kg. Now check out other weighing stones and tell me their weights. Apart from hundred kilograms, we have fifty, twenty, ten, five, two, and one kg. Oh, we have weighing stones smaller than one kg too. Yes, these are stones weighing in grams. Look, five hundred grams, two hundred grams, hundred grams. and 50 grams these are weighing stones which weigh less than this too but i don't use them okay uncle how do we measure weight with the help of these i will show you let's weigh the newspaper you have brought can you guess how much it will weigh Uncle it was quite heavy i couldn't even lift it it must be around 10 kg Okay let's weigh this with the weighing stone of 10 kg For measuring weight we will place the item to be weighed on one side and will keep on putting weighing stones on the other until the needle points at the center or get balanced Look the side carrying 10 kg weighing stone moved downwards 
while the side carrying the newspapers moved upwards. This means the weight of the newspaper is less than 10 kgs. Mm, uncle, what should we do now? We will put stone which weighs less than 10 kgs. So can you tell me which weighing stone is smaller than 10 kgs? 5 kgs. Let's place this. Uncle, now the side carrying the newspaper has moved downwards. Which means? This means that the weight of the newspaper is more than 5 kgs. Yes. So what should we do now? I don't know, Uncle. We don't have any stone which weighs more than 5 kgs and less than 10 kgs. Now we will add smaller weighing stones to this. Let's check by adding weighing stone of 2 kgs. Yes. Oh look, the side carrying weighing stones has moved downwards. Means the weight of the newspapers is less than 5 plus 2, mm, 7 kgs. Yes. Now let's replace the 2 kg weighing stone by 1. Uncle, look! Now the sides are balanced and the needle also points at the center. That means the weight of the newspapers is 5 and 1 means 6 kilograms. Very good! Now weigh these books on your own. These are not that heavy. Okay, Uncle. See, I have placed the books on this side. Mm, let's place weighing stone of 2 kgs first. Oh, this is still on the upper side. Means, I have to add some more weighing stones. Let's add one more stone of 1 kg to it. Means now it becomes 2 and 1, mm, 3 kgs. Oh wow, this is balanced now. This means the weight of the books is 3 kgs. Look, your father has also come. So uncle, did she disturb you? No, no, she is a very sweet child. Dad, I have learned how to measure weight using stones and weighing scale. Look, this books weigh 3 kgs. Very good, Neetu. In this video, we have learned about measuring items with weighing scale and adding different weighing stones to measure the weight. Weight related problems, common mistakes. Hey kids, in this video, we will learn about some common mistakes while measuring weight using the weighing scale. Come, let's see what Neetu is doing today. She has put some stones on the weighing scale and is looking a bit worried. Birju uncle is looking at her. Hey kid, what happened? What are you doing? Uncle, see, I am placing the weighing stones on both the sides. Still, the needle is not getting balanced. This is because weight on both the sides is different. No, Uncle, look. This is of 1 kg and this is of 100 grams. Both are equal, right? Okay, Neetu. Try to lift both of them. While doing this, don't you feel the weight is different? Yes, uncle, you are right. I haven't thought about this. But how is this possible? Because you are forgetting that 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams, not 100 grams. Oh, yes, uncle. How did I forget this? 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams, not 100 grams. Right. 
Now place some more weight on the side, carrying 100 grams, so that it becomes equal to 1000 grams and the scale gets balanced. Okay, uncle. To this 100 grams, I am adding 500 grams, then 200 grams, then 100 grams, and the last two stones of 50 grams each. Yes, now the total is 1000 grams. Look, uncle, the scale is now balanced. Very good. So, kids, now you understood. 1 kg is not equal to 100 grams. Instead, it is equal to 1000 grams. Oh look, Birju uncle is asking something from Neetu. Neetu, if I place a 1 kg stone one side and a 2 kg stone on another side, can you tell me which side of the weighing scale will move upwards? This side carrying 2 kgs. How come? Because this side carrying 2 kgs is heavier than the other. Yes, child. The side carrying 2 kgs is more heavy than the side carrying 1 kg. But don't forget, the heavier side always moves down. Uncle, I have not understood this. Okay, I will teach you. Remember, when you swing in the seesaw with charm, he automatically moves downwards and you move upwards, right? Yes, uncle, because charm is heavier than me. That's why he moves downwards. Yes, absolutely right. In the similar way, in this weighing scale, the side carrying more weight moves downwards while the side carrying less weight moves upwards because it is lighter than the other. Yes, uncle, I have understood. The side having more weight will move downwards. This means in this case of 1 kg and 2 kg weighing stones, the side carrying 1 kg will move upwards because it is lighter than the other. Exactly. Now you have learnt it properly. So kids, have you understood? In weighing scale, heavier weight moves downwards and lighter weight moves upwards. In this video, we have learnt about some common mistakes while measuring weight using the weighing scale. Between kilograms and grams. In this video, we will learn about the measuring units of weight and the relationship between kilograms and grams. Come, today let's go to Gopal's house. Look how the three kids of Gopal, Sham, Neetu, and Mohan are playing together. Brother, please swing me too. Oh my God, Neetu, you have become too heavy. Am I heavier than Mohan too? Yes, you will be about 5 kgs heavier than Mohan. What is kilogram, brother? Come, I will teach you. Look, Neetu, when we measure the weight of an object, we measure it in the units of kilogram and gram. Kilogram is also known as kg. Okay. You have heard it, right? When mother brings 1 kg of tomatoes or potatoes from the market. Yes, brother. And kilogram is used to measure large quantities of an object while gram is used to measure small quantities of it. Okay brother, like 1 kilogram of peas and 250 grams of chilli powder? Absolutely correct Neetu. And do you know, 
वन किलोग्राम इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड ग्राम्स बीस मैनी ग्राम यस डू यू रिमेम्बर वेन वी बॉट टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी ग्राम्स ऑफ जलेबीज ये नाउ टेल मी इफ वी टेक फोर पैकेट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी ग्राम्स ऑफ जलेबीज देन वॉट वुड बी द टोटल वेट ऑफ ऑल द जलेबीज 250 plus 250 plus 250 plus 250. Mm, so the total is thousand grams. Absolutely correct. And thousand grams is equal to one kg. That means now we have one kg of jalebis. Brother, I have understood. Yay! Very good. Hey kids, look! Here comes the father. Go help him to get the goods out of the cart. Okay. Neetu, can you tell which will weigh more, two kgs of wheat or five hundred grams of suji? Hmm, rather suji, as five hundred is greater than two. Yes, Neetu, you are right. But I have asked, which is greater, two kgs or five hundred grams? Focus on the units. Oh yes, right, brother. One kg means thousand grams. So two kgs would be equal to two thousand grams. Right. Now units of both the same, two thousand grams and five hundred grams. So wheat will weigh more because two thousand grams is greater than five hundred grams. Very good. Now try to hold both the packets. Two kilograms of wheat and five hundred grams means half a kg packet of suji. Yes, brother. The packet of suji is lighter than the packet of wheat. What are you both doing? Brother is teaching me about kilograms and grams. Oh, that's great. So, what have you learnt? We measure light items in grams and heavy items in kilograms. Yes, right. Now tell me, if we add two kgs of wheat, five kgs of rice. Half a kg of suji and one and a half kgs of sugar. What will be the total weight? Mm, let me try. Units of two kgs and five kgs are same, so this will give seven kgs. Right. Half a kg suji means five hundred grams. You have become so intelligent, Neetu. One and a half kgs of sugar means one kg and five hundred grams. Absolutely correct. Five hundred grams and one kg. If we add five hundred grams to it, the weight would be one kg and thousand grams. We can also say that the total is two kgs. As thousand grams is equal to one kg, and one kg plus one kg gives two kg. That the unit of seven kilograms and two kilograms is same. So if we add both of them, we'll get nine kgs. Right. Very good, Neetu. Hey, why have we bought so many small packets of tea? Shopkeeper did not have the large packet, so I brought ten small packets of fifty grams. Neetu, can you tell me what will be the total weight of ten fifty grams of such packets? Let me add fifty up to ten times. Neetu, here you can also multiply fifty by ten. Oh yes, brother, it would be the same thing. Fifty multiplied by ten gives five hundred, so five hundred grams. Mom, 
father has brought half a kg of tea leaves i was already told this by my daughter okay now tell me if i make puris using 350 grams of wheat out of the 2 kilograms we have then how much wheat will be left with us have to subtract 350 grams from 2 kilograms and the first step for doing this is kids you can pause the video and calculate the answer to make sure that the units are same according to you what should be the unit of both the items gram i can easily subtract with this how come 2 kilograms mean 2000 grams yes right from this i'll subtract 350 grams absolutely correct on subtracting 350 from 2000 we are left with 1650 Now, thousand grams means one kg, so Dad will be left with one thousand six hundred and fifty grams of wheat. Wow, you have done it so well. So, kids, in this video, we learned about the measuring units of weight and the relationship between kilograms and grams. in kilogram and gram misconceptions in this video we will learn about some misconceptions related to measuring units of weight kilograms and grams hey kids do you remember about the three children of gopal and radha sham neetu and mohan let's see what neetu is doing today Brother, look at these two bags. Both of them has half a kg written on it, but the quantity of cotton is much more than the quantity of pulses. Yes, Neetu, you are absolutely correct. Brother, how is it possible? Neetu, this is because cotton is very light, so more amount of cotton is needed to make half a kg of it. pulses are heavier than cotton so a very less amount of it is enough to make half a kg of it oh that's why the amount of cotton is so large yes neetu it is not necessary that if the weight of two objects is the same when the quantity will also be the same see the weight of these four items is same but their quantities are different Yes brother you had just picked a packet of 100 grams of jeera and i picked a packet of 1 kg of suji yes brother which of these two packets was heavier you packet of suji why because the packet of suji is of 1 kg and 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams absolutely correct So thousand grams of suji is heavier than hundred grams of jeera, and if we put ten hundred grams of packets together, then their total weight would be thousand grams, which would be equal to one kg of suji. Neetu, you are getting very smart. Yes, brother. Like this, five packets of hundred grams dry chilies weigh the same as five hundred grams of pulses. You said it right. Dry chilies are lighter than pulses, so five packets of hundred grams dry chilies is equivalent to one packet of five hundred grams of pulses. On adding five packets of hundred grams, we'll get five hundred grams. That is why both of them are equal. So Neetu, now you understood. While comparing the weight of items, 
it doesn't depend on the number of items instead it depends upon the measuring units of weight brother will you play with me yes sure but first tell me which of these two is more heavier this big balloon or this small ball what brother as the size of the balloon is large it would be more heavy it's not necessary that if the size of an object is large it would also weigh more try holding both of these yes brother the balloon is so light Oh yeah just now we have seen how a large quantity of cotton was equal to the weight of comparatively less quantity of pulses Yes now you understood well kids always remember the weight of an object doesn't depend upon how big or small it is while it depends upon the heaviness of an object So kids In this video we learned about some misconceptions related to measuring units of weight kilograms and grams